Yeah. Yeah, g'day. I've, uh, I've called this press conference to address the Australian people on a matter of national urgency. Uh, at around 3 p.m. yesterday afternoon, I witnessed testimony from two hunters in uh, Victoria's southeast. Uh, were confirmed by government officials as sightings of a Bigfoot. And uh, the government wishes to inform all the citizens of this great country that the Bigfoot, it should be considered extremely hairy, obviously, uh, and dangerous. Uh, despite the beast's size, the scientists, uh, whose names we're going to keep private to protect their identity, uh, they've informed us that this, uh, this creature, this wild creature, it's, it's extremely wily and agile, you know, and uh, it can smell fear to a range of 80,000 feet lift 20 times its own body weight and uh, can consume 2,000 litres of water in a day and, and not once get the hiccups. So it's pretty um, pretty amazing. It, do, it does piss a lot though and um, the urine smells a lot like a refreshing herbal tea. So um, we therefore have taken steps to cease the trade of all organic produce in Australia in an effort to aid the search for the Bigfoot, you know, and ease anxiety in the communities. Don't want anyone smelling an organically grown broccoli and shitting themselves because they think Bigfoot's just pissed on their doorstep, you know, so, so, uh, yeah, we, we just ask that, uh, you remain extra vigilant in this troubling time and, uh, and have faith that your elected representatives are just doing everything we can to, to capture and destroy this, uh, enormous threat to our freedom, you know, in addition to the measures we've already taken, um, a, a Bigfoot pricing scheme will be imposed to counter the expected downturn in the economy, you know, because people probably won't be leaving their house and spending and shit like that, so... Uh, while some regions might be quarantined, the, the residents can, you know, rest easy, you know, life's going to continue elsewhere and you'll be able to rejoin society because the government acted fast, you know, because we really just want to help people. And, you know, to those, to those people that say that the Bigfoot's just nothing but a, a myth, you know, a hoax perpetrated to scare people and just get them to do what the government wants, you know, shame on you, you know. If you're right and the government takes these steps, you know, we'll, we'll needlessly go without organic foods, yeah, but less expensive options will probably save working families that, that much needed money, so it'll ease the strain on the Bigfoot pricing, and uh, in other words, you know, we've just sacrificed a small amount for, for a little bit of pain, so, but if we're right and we do nothing, you know, then this Bigfoot could evolve into something so bloody big, it's just, uh, it's going to be a disaster of global proportions, you know, and we respect people wanting to, you know, save the Bigfoot, you know, and stuff like that, but don't try and... Don't stuff up our search, because, you know, that's just... You know, it'd be like some, if someone stole your six-pack out of your Kingswood, you know? It, you're about to drive to Bathurst, and your esky's just bone dry. You'd go mad. Start knocking people off the street, you know, doing burnouts on your front lawn, or more than usual. You know, you'd probably end up driving into a lake just to get a drink, so... so that's what this Bigfoot's going to be like if you don't let us do our job, right? And, uh, there, there is a reward for catching the, the Bigfoot. Uh, and then that figure we reckon will be around uh, $250,000 uh, or six months worth of free cheeseburgers from Macca's, uh, whichever you want. And uh, just w when the government confirms that it is the actual Bigfoot, you know, because there's a lot of false sightings. Like uh, my mate Jono, he, um, he's from Broadmeadows. He, w well, actually, he's, he's from Launceston, but lives in Broadie now. He reckons he's a bit more civilised there. So he uh, he's a good bloke, but he... He chucked his lazy boy sofa on the back of the ute and went roo shooting, you know, with his feet up. And we drove him along a gravel track and he thought he saw a Bigfoot and shot his right toe clean off. So, um, and, uh, you know, we, we thought we thought the car had just backfired, so we didn't catch on for another 5Ks. And, you know, when we drove back to get his foot, we uh, found it was a, a big, wasn't a Bigfoot after all, it was just a, a wild pig, you know, so. And it was eating Jono's big toe, so. We lost a foot, gained a free dinner, but, um, you know, just... You won't be so lucky, so just be careful of uh, false Bigfoot sightings, all right, and just take it easy, you know. Yeah, Jono, he's, he's a vegetarian, so he lost out in both counts there. But actually, we've got another mate named Phil. Uh, he's actually a vegan, uh, not not a regular vegan. He uh, he started off, you know, for health reasons, but he realised he, he couldn't stop going to the toilet. So, yeah, he's, he's, an, he's a normal vegan, but these days he, he just eats a lot of red meat, you know, to avoid going to the toilet, and uh, he just stays on two feet, you know. Uh, the point being, you know, this Bigfoot, you know, it's not like everyday meats you get at the supermarket. So, you know, if you need protein or fibre or whatever, you know, just get it from somewhere else. Yeah, if you, if you happen to, to kill the Bigfoot, you know, don't go cooking it for dinner and stuff like that. So, And look, the, the government wants to say we, we don't want to harm, harm any, any living creature, all right? You know, that's just terrible, you know. 
No one wants to harm a living creature. None but the most sadistic and un-Australian. But, uh, but none of us want to look into our, our children's eyes or, you know, the eyes of our, our children's kids and, and, and answer the question why, you know, why, when we had the chance to safeguard the future for the people of this country, for the people of this world, why did we fail to act, you know? You know, you don't want your little little grandson to be looking up, you're going, Granddad, you, why didn't you fucking help the government? You shoot the Bigfoot, you know, kill it down because, you know, he just stepped on our camper van and now we don't have a house. It's just... You should have helped him out when you had the chance, you know, now we're screwed. Thanks, Grandad. You know, nobody wants that, you know, so, um, and it's not going to be my burden because I know that I'm going to do everything that I can right now to help the people and the people of this country for their future, so. Winston Churchill once said many great quotations and, uh, look, perhaps there's one in this speech you, you'll also think's great and that'd be, uh, that'd be awesome, really. <laughs> and, uh, anyway. That, that's it, and uh, keep on the lookout for the Bigfoot, and uh, yeah, just be alert, and uh, but not alarmed. Yeah, cheers.